So let's go back to the uh, Smart Access Anywhere. We'll launch the probe. Now, one of the first off, right out of the box, some of the uh, some of the folks that I've dealt with have this kind of issue. It's a very dark um, representation of the connector, so it's really difficult. Obviously, uh, difficult to see. Well, this is not a uh, issue or a problem. Basically, what it is is the probe hasn't been calibrated. So this is a really, really neat feature on the uh, on the probe. Basically, all you got to do is unplug this from the um, from the platform, and you'll notice that the platform uh, microscope disappeared. We'll go over to the Fiber Check Pro, and as soon as we plug this in, we get the uh, microscope up here. This also gives us an option for which tips we're using. So pretty much the standard tips. Your profile right here um, is for what type of connector we're looking at, whether it's a uh, single mode ultra polished physical contact or angled physical contact or uh, physical contact multi-mode, you get the idea. Magnification, um, you can flip the magnification to be low or high, auto centering. So over on the right hand side there is a setup button. So the first part of the setup is within the software itself, the FiberCheck Pro setup. The next part of this is the probe setup. So the first thing that it pops into um, when you open up the probe setup is shows you your firmware level. So it shows current version, latest version available. If it's out of um, out of tolerance or there's a couple revisions of firmware, just go ahead and click the firmware and it will download straight into the, the probe. The next is optical settings. So there's all kinds of cool things you can do here. You can actually set up um, some specific optical settings. What's standard on the device is what you see over here on the uh, right hand side. Now if you come in here and you go to your um, edit optical settings, so we're doing our edit optical settings with the standard tips. If you do an auto adjust right here, this will go in and just like um, just like uh, you know a photographer it's going to take light readings and and what the reflective uh, value is or the light value is off the face of the connector and it's going to go through and basically set the best values it needs um, in order to do its analysis on the connector end face so it's a really cool cool thing now if it comes out and it's actually a little bit darker than you'd like, you can go into the manual lighting adjustment here and actually boost this up a couple points. So you notice that my brightness control right here, I'm just going to take it up just a couple because, you know, that's what I like. So once that's done, you say done, you say OK, say OK again. Those settings are loaded into the probe. Okay, they're actually loaded into the microscope. So now we should be able to take this out, plug it into our platform, two USB ports on the top. Once this is uh, loaded up, let's go back over here. We have our microscope. We'll double click that. And notice. Um, a little bit of a time lag here, but notice now on the screen of the uh, platform, it's a much brighter um, representation of the end face as well as you know what we can see over here on the computer.